another Artifact Corner. Today we will be looking at a cardboard container from Fanny Delord Webb Hall's Apothecary. Fanny was a self-taught doctor who treated the poor of Plattsburgh for free. When she passed, all of the medicine that she had in her office remained, and so we have a glimpse into what was being used to treat people in the late Victorian slash early Edwardian period. This is an aromatic powder made by Shiflin and Company of New York. Let's learn a bit more about this company and this powder. So what is the composition of this aromatic powder? Well, it states on the container that this is Pulvis Cinnamami Compositus, which gives us a clue as to what's in it. The exact recipe for this powder is cinnamon bark in powder, 25 grams, cardamom seed in powder, 25 grams, and ginger in powder, 25 grams. In powder just means these ingredients are to be finely ground into a powder. So what is this powder meant to do? What ailment did it treat? This was mostly used to treat stomach issues. It helped with digestion and was supposed to help with flatulence. It was also used to treat nausea and vomiting. It could be used topically as well as being ingested. Shiflin and Company list the price for their aromatic powder in a catalog from 1868 as costing $2 per pound of powder, which seems like a pretty good deal. Now, under no circumstances are we recommending that you try using this for any ailments you may have. Victorian and Edwardian medicine and treatments are not safe and are not a substitute for seeing your physician. The company who made our aromatic powder has quite a long history. Shiflin & Company was a New York pharmaceutical and liquor importing company founded in 1781 by Ephraim Lawrence. The company has changed its name several times over the years, starting as Lawrence & Shiflin Pharmatrade in the late 1700s and ending with Shiflin & Company. By 1868, their catalog boasts of a wide variety of items for sale. Here's a sampling of what you could purchase from them. Perfumery, fancy goods, combs, pill boxes, sponges, corks, elastic stockings, scales and weights, paints, window glass, and any type of drug you could possibly need. In the 1880s, Shiflin & Company was the first and only distributor of aspirin in the United States. In 1882, William Henry Shiflin established a modern laboratory for pharmaceutical and chemical substances. In 1981, Shiflin & Company was sold to Moe Hennessy S.A., a French company that also owns Moe Chandon, Hennessy, and Christian Dior. This box is in decent condition. At some point, someone tried to seal it closed with scotch tape, which is most unfortunate. A note to anyone dealing with an antique, please leave it in its original condition if you can. It's still a fascinating piece of early Edwardian medicine, and we are so lucky to have it in our collections. Thanks so much for stopping by.